So far, I'd say relatively few Irish people have come to live and work uh, in Bulgaria. And they're a very diverse uh, group. There are people who are in business, there are people who are married to Bulgarians. Um, so I think it is um, hard to generalize. But one thing that uh, every Irish person I meet says to me is how easy they find it to live in Bulgaria, uh, how similar they find the cultures. Um, so I think uh, it's a good fit between Ireland and Bulgaria. Although the group of Irish now call Bulgaria home is small, Brand Ireland and Irish labels are making a huge impact on the emerging Bulgarian market, whether it's tourism, investment homes, the entertainments or drinks industry. Brand Ireland is everywhere. I've lived all over Europe for the last couple of years working with IT in different projects, so Sofia is a little bit... It's a city now where things are kind of progressing. It's a, it's a city that's going to come up, I think, in the future, but it needs a lot more work. I think if when the European Union funds start coming here a bit more, it's going, to, it's going to help the city a lot, and it's going to help the culture, help the Bulgarians and everything, so it will help foreigners as well, obviously. Came over here about maybe six, seven years ago buying property, then ended up coming over here doing a contract for Vivatel, opened a web development company, and then opened an Irish pub, and the rest is history. Everyone loves Ireland. Everyone loves everything Irish. So in every country you go to, Irish people get a good reception, good fun, never cause a problem, have a good laugh. And same here in Sofia. The Bulgarian culture is good. It's a lot more laid back than kind of the Irish culture, English culture, wherever. Things are a little bit slow here sometimes. Great country, beautiful culture. You know, things just a little bit too slow, but when they come up to speed, I'm sure it'll be the Celtic Tiger shall go Bulgarian. The whiskies are very good sellers, yeah. A lot of the products we find that are selling now, um, like Bushmills did it, uh, Bushmills and Tullamore Jew, they had big advertising campaigns here, especially Tullamore Jew. But what we find now, that a lot of Bulgarians are turning more towards Jameson. They're obviously beginning to see the different qualities for different people, you know. So we find a lot of Bulgarians coming to the bar now, they're looking for Jameson. Coru Jameson is the leader of the Rwandan whiskies in Bulgaria. Recently, Jemison has become a leader of Irish whiskies here in Bulgaria. The label is very modern and famous all over the country, among different age groups. Jemison is the largest selling whisky in the world, and here it is quickly becoming a strong brand. The secret of its success is in the incredible taste and aroma. Every year we have big promotions of Jemison in the resorts. People are having fun. They love winning prizes and go home with fond memories of their vacation. The Irish and the Bulgarian people are alike when they're having fun. I think the Bulgarians like the Irish, and the Irish like the Bulgarians. If they didn't, they wouldn't buy properties here or come here on holidays.